EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to showcase the finest young golfers from around the globe. From the home of three major championships, Riviera Country Club, it's live opening round coverage of the California Classic. We've got a full field ready to get rolling on this Thursday as we get a look at the early leaderboard. A lot of folks fighting for the title, including our leader. Starting off here at Riviera Country Club with a reachable par five, the 503 yard first. Tee box stands some 80 feet above the fairway. With a good drive, birdie is a good possibility. There's a good start, that one in the fairway here to get the tournament rolling. Oh, that second shot just ran out of fairway, but still, nice little pitch shot and a good chance to make four at par five. Oh, how good a read is that? It is a birdie at the opening hole. And she'll quickly move here to one under par. Next up, the number one handicap hole at Riviera, the 471 yard par four second, playing into the prevailing ocean breeze, making it play that much longer. Par is a very good score here. That one going to be in great shape. So following the birdie at one, a solid drive here at the second. Setting up in the fairway, 200 yards to where that hole is cut. Well, had a good look at the green, but couldn't cash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. The 
This one measures out to 15 feet. Ah, that's a confident roll right there. Well done. It's a par here at the second. And she'll remain at one under par. Moving now to the 434 yard, par 4 third at Riviera. Best way to attack here is to carry that fairway bunker on the left to set up a good angle on your approach. Oh, and it's a narrow fairway here at three, but that'll be in a great spot. Second shot coming up. Let's bring in Iona Steven. Yeah, she's looking at 126 yards this time. The pin up front in the right-hand corner of the green. That's a disappointment right there, Frank. Yeah, green light special, really. Come up considerably short. Well, those are the shots that turn what you'd like to be a leisurely stroll out on the golf course into a day of hard work. Yeah, what could have been a tap-in is now going to be a grind. Yeah, no mistaking that one. That is a good par here at the third. And she'll stay one under for the tournament. Well, this is just a great par three. 236 yards, the fourth hole. And as they like to say on tour, you can't fake this one. This will take your best shot, and you'd be happy with a three here. This is going to be her second shot now at the par three.
This will be a 14-foot putt here. Not that time. Pretty good effort, but it'll wander a couple of feet by. That one finished off. It is a bogey here at four. And she's going to fall back down to even par. You can see her at the par four fifth. There's a lot going on. It is one of the most interesting holes at Riviera, that canyon wall and out of bounds on the right. Then you have the trees down the left. But what really makes this hole distinctive is that grass mound cutting into the fairway just short of the green. Oh, and that's going to run through this fifth fairway and into the rough. So even from the thick stuff, a chance still to possibly reach this green in regulation. Well, we had a chance to look at the lion. Uh, well, just getting that ball in the green itself was uh, was really an accomplishment. Good shot. Ah, the pace, absolutely perfect there. Down the slope, it's in for a birdie. You won't come across too many like this. Riviera's feigned par 3 6 at 199 yards. Hard to focus on anything other than that distinctive bunker cut right into the middle of the green. Finding the proper level is imperative here because getting it wrong can create all kinds of unique problems. And that is short and into one of the more standard bunkers here at the sixth. Gonna have to try and give this a good thump to fly it to the hole. Yeah, that was going to be tough to fly that all the way to the hole out of the bunker, and this is going to come up a good bit short. Oh, 
she'll take that one. What a tough putt that was to salvage her par. And her score is going to stay right where it is. Here's another hole that is distinctly Riviera. 408 yards of par four, but you have that giant bunker going all the way down the left side and then the barranca on the right. Uh, the fairway closes in, pinches at about the 270 yard mark. So with all that's going on and as narrow as it gets, you have to hit it straight off the tee here. No issues here. That is into the fairway. After a good tee shot, Iona, this her second. 139 left to the flag. Pin smack bang in the middle. I really like her golf swing, and that's another good shot. She should be happy with that one. A long one coming up here for birdie. Mm, boy, that's a good stroke. Just a fraction off target, but you can't get the speed any better than that. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And her score is going to stay right where it is. The surprises don't stop here on Riviera's front side as we come to the 433-yard par 4-8. One of course designer George C. Thomas's all-time favorites. A split fairway is the unique feature here. Like many holes, this one forces you to really have a strategy. Fairway's big enough. Good shot. Yeah, that's good shot. Decided to go for the right side fairway, and that's in good shape. Perfect spot to play this second. Middle of the fairway. Well, she should be happy with that shot. Good chance for birdie inside 20 feet. 28 feet from the cup. Okay, good roll there. It is a par here at the eighth, and her score is going to stay right where it is. On to Riviera's ninth now at 458 yards. You get a look at the beautiful clubhouse in the distance, but don't let your mind wander from the task at hand. This is no easy hole. 
Bunkers line the fairway on both sides and three more greet you up near this elevated green. That, a good looking shot there, well placed in the fairway. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. Under 46 yards left to the hole. The pin is stuck in the front right section of the green. is always so disappointing from that kind of a spot when you come up short. Yeah, you're licking your chops over that one. The shot you think you could hit directly at the flag. Uh, now, test for the short game. Well hold, that's in for her part at the ninth. And that will mean it's a 34 on the front side, one under par. Well, this hole, the 315 yard par four tenth has been talked about so much. If you ask the professionals, what's the best short par four in the world? Most will point to this. It, it's all about options and that little sliver of a green which causes players headaches. This one is, is not just about the length, obviously, but it is a really strategic play. Instead of bombing it down there with driver, smart decision to just hit the three wood off the tee. Give yourself a good look with your second shot. Okay, sensible play right there, and that one on deck. Now, that's the way to start the backside. A perfect read. It's a birdie at number 10. Again, here's a hole where you know instantly you're at Riviera. 583 yard, 11th, it's the second par five on the course, but you, you look at those eucalyptus trees lining both sides of the fairway, that's Riviera. And then the grass barranca, which is a couple of hundred yards from the green, you have to factor that in on your second shot. Terrific hole.
Okay, this is not the biggest of fairways at Riviera, but that's a good drive here at 11. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, it did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. This, only about five feet for birdie. Yes, good start to this backside. Back to back birdies here at 10 and 11. Up next, a toughie, the 479-yard par 412. It is a gentle left to right, so fading the ball is encouraged. Up near the green, beware of that lone sycamore tree known as the Humphrey Bogart tree, so named because he loved watching golf and relaxing under its shade. Boy, a good round going here on this Thursday, and that another fine effort off the tee. This now for birdie at 12. And there's no space for a lapse in concentration here, perhaps a little bit further away than we would have liked, but a two part would be a very good result. Good effort, but that'll run two, three feet past the hole. That one safely in. It's a par here at 12. And she's going to stay at minus three. Next, it's on to the 13th at 459 yards, where the 12th bent left to right, 
Number 13 goes the other way, trying to make you utilize all the shots in your arsenal. That's the mark of a really good design. This one again featuring a narrow landing zone leading up to a smallish heart-shaped green. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Second shot. Good look at the green. Another example of her, her excellent balance and timing, and that's a good shot. A birdie putt down to Iona. Well, they often say it's the toughest putt in golf. There's not a lot to it. I think you can take dead aim. Touch of class right there. Very good effort. Okay, safely in for par here at 13. And her score is going to stay right where it is. I'll head now to the 14th, the par three at 192 yards. This green's on a slight incline, and given the ocean air, probably plays a little longer than you think. The narrow green is flanked by two bunkers left and another to the right. Nope, that's going to be into that U-shaped bunker, short and right. Second shot upcoming, down to Noda. Poor tee shot, finding the bunker up the right. Now it's going to require a lot of talent to find this green. Very difficult to get that to stop, even out of the sand. And that race is right on by. Ah, yes, no problem, she says. That's it for her par. And her score is going to stay right where it is. The 15th hole here at Riviera at 487 yards of par four. It is the number two handicap hole, so that can speak to its difficulty. The one well-placed bunker at the elbow of the dog leg must be avoided, and the green is believed by many to be the toughest to read on the course. Rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot.
this from about 10 feet. Got it there, but not quite on target. Okay, a bogey here at the 15. And she's gonna drop to two under par. The 16th hole at Riviera, the final par three of the round. It's a tough one at 166 yards. Hit it anywhere on the putting surface, you'll likely be just fine miss and you're almost certain to be in one of the four bunkers framing the entirety of the green Okay, that one's dancing. A birdie putt now at 16. And a glassy look to this putt as it works downhill with right to left in it. <laughs> that putt's fast, but it's not that fast. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And she'll remain at two under. We make our final turn back up toward the clubhouse as we come to the 590-yard par 5 17th. Getting on here in two is no sure thing, especially given all the bunkers that pop up along the way. Yeah, nothing to fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. Now from way back, better than 300 yards, a second to the par five. Okay, that worked out well, landing just short, releases onto the green. Still a long ways to go, though, to make the eagle three here. Yeah, at least you get a nice enjoyable walk with the putter in the hand, so it certainly works out well. Well, if that ball never really got rolling, that's going to come up a good 10 feet short. Oh, yes. Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. Such a unique 
closing hole, the 18th here at Riviera at 475 yards. You're asked to hit your tee shot onto a 30-foot rise that features hillside to the left and gully to the right. From there, it is a tough approach into the amphitheater green. Boy, she just seems to be on autopilot right about now. That, another good drive off the tee. From the fairway, let's go to Noda. Tough not to get distracted with the majestic amphitheater setting here at the 18th at Riviera, but be mindful, you must land the ball left of the hole to get it close. Didn't check, Frank. Yeah, just not enough spin on that, um, really. I mean, that almost like took that first bounce and just ricocheted forward. Eleven feet away. Mm, that's going to scoot a foot or two by. Okay, a shake of the head as that one is finished off. And that will not help the cause. Alongside Frank Navalo, I'm Rich Lerner for EA Sports. Thanks for joining us. Goodbye for now.